This is Rondamon. I'm testing Optic Tracker Basic on March 5th, 2014. Here, Optic Tracker is locked on to object number four and tracking it. Um, the other object up to the right is a bad pixel, which it's also detected. And uh, it seems to be holding its own, holding this position. Here, Optic Tracker misses uh, SL-14 Rocket Booster in the lower left hand as it uh, moves around, and then I try to get it up toward the uh, center of the screen, but it failed to detect it automatically. Here, another object goes uh, near the center, and this goes undetected. Here we have uh, an object just to the left of that circle. And I click on the, uh, about halfway through with the mouse, um, about halfway through between it and the center, and Optic Tracker moves it right to the center. Here I manually select target one, and you can see the scope running away you know, by the elevation indicator in the box on the right side. I'm showing it again. You can just see how fast it's running. Here I'm manually moving the scope and Optic Tracker acquires that star as it's moving across. I'll play that one again so you can see Optic Tracker puts a box around that object and then it's a target. This is how the Orion Nebula looks in the uh, tracking uh, camera. Here I've moved the uh, telescope to an area where there are geosatellites, geostationary orbits, and stars, and you can see that it, it doesn't quite stop, it's sort of drifting a little bit. When I'm working with Optic Tracker, I usually have Heaven Sat, which shows your stars and satellite locations in a screen right next to it, so I can compare them and see what's supposed to be there. The following our next our, our image is taken with the uh, Next Star 6 SE telescope and the Sony CX550V handy cam. This object, uh, it has, it appears to have a panel on the side that casts a shadow onto the rear section of the object. This is an odd shaped one, and it looks like it has um, a section on the right that maybe can swing back and forth. This object appears to have like a cone in the center with quartz all the way around it. This object appeared to have three major sections. Uh, nothing real strange looking about it. This one was the oddest of them all. It appeared to have a, a little antenna on the front round section up on the top there, by the in front of those two front windows maybe, and then a square bottom. This object appears to have a movable section under on its right side, just under what looks like a little shoulder area. This is the final object, and on the left side it looks like that section can move back toward the center, maybe covering up that hole that's in the center there. <laughs>